uh, people mainly and scholars mainly define norms as related to to uh, will and and of course that's the starting point uh, uh, for for uh, most norms that that you want something you have certain preferences uh, and therefore you 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 stick to a certain way of behavior and 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 a norm uh, grows. Uh, but that's not enough uh, because uh, it's not enough to want to do something. You have also to have knowledge uh, to pursue what you want, and uh, knowledge is uh, many times uh, foreseen, and, and especially also what is here indicated as cognition. I mean, the world view we people have, how we look, it's uh, new uh, weapons or whatever. It's very deep for our uh, 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 normative standpoint. But the most important dimension is the third dimension, uh, which, which is in my, my sorry, it is about the actual possibilities. It's not enough that you have the knowledge to pursue what you want, you have also to have the actual possibilities, which is uh, my, uh, my wording perhaps indicating that we are approaching a kind of more objective factors in the sense that uh, they are lying outside the individual. Uh, and in our time, uh, I would say that uh, uh, we are heavily uh, 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 we have to rely on the system uh, conditions. Uh, we have created a lot of systems in society, and I hope I don't frighten you by this uh, last slide in this uh, series. Uh, but at the, in the bottom of that, you can see and have created a lot of uh, systems, economical, technical, political, administrative systems, in order to uh, 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 improve uh, the life conditions for, for, for mankind. We have been very successful in that. So we have, in a sense, been the prisoners of, of, of these uh, uh, systems. So many times, I mean, there is also a relation, of course, between these dimensions. Many times I used to say that we don't want anything else than the system provides us with. But you can also uh, 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 take it the other way around, say that, uh, that uh, 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 these uh, uh, systems, they, they uh, uh, in a sense, uh, 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 they, they, they force us to, uh, uh, to, to act in, in a certain way. Uh, even uh, to our preferences. I mean, I used to make uh, uh, the, the clear example of uh, uh, sustainability and environmental concerns. If you look, uh, if you had uh, make a, uh, a poll, uh, public poll about uh, how people regard, so no one is against or, or no one is in favor of uh, environmental degradation, but uh, still. That is something which is going on for the time, uh, because the system uh, has, has more or less uh, inbuilt uh, external consequences uh, is of, of negative effects. Uh, to uh, uh, use an example uh, in relation to a global uh, uh, rules. <coughs> I have uh, focused on uh, or chosen to focus on corruption because I think corruption is one of the uh, 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 largest enemies to to global uh, rule of law. And uh, I have just uh, uh, today actually taken a, a notice of of uh, a study made uh, uh, for eight years by a group of researchers in political science subjects, economy and so on, uh, about corruption in 178. Uh, and uh, that study uh, uh, says that about 70% of the world's population lives in communities with corruption. And it has also been so historically. Uh, 
And that leads to a lot of problems, to even to, to problems like poverty and poor health uh, 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 due to a lack of clean water and medical care and so on. But it is a fundamental threat to uh, rule of law. Rule, rule, rule. And uh, uh, therefore it's uh, important to, to, to deal with. Uh, and uh, the researchers point to any universal method against corruption, but uh, they point out that countries, and they have studied that countries with low corruption are another characterized population improvement for public services. Uh, another interesting uh, finding uh, uh, by these researchers is that uh, they claim that high taxes also provide low tolerance for corruption. And that is especially, as I have said, about the relation between law and norms, because uh, high taxes make uh, 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 you, uh, in a way, regarding uh, that uh, uh, people feel uh, that corruption is about their own money, so to say. Possibility of growing of social laws uh, in support of the legal regulation, which is, uh, in my mind, a necessity. If you don't uh, 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 influence the uh, lying behind the legal regulation, you can't accept, expect to be uh, to have success. Nordic countries are among the least corrupt, uh, perhaps well known why countries like Nigeria, Somalia, uh, Bangladesh are at the bottom of the scale. And we mm-hmm. are pointed out having trouble. I hope I don't offend any in the public right now, but uh, this is <laughs> not a personal thing. Anyway, well, uh, the, point, uh, the point I would like to make in relation to this is that people in countries with a high level of corruption have not another moral opinion about corruption compared to others. Uh, and there could be a kind of, you know, what I mentioned before, uh, talking about this moral model and the system uh, 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 Imperatives, namely that the system governs and gives you uh, new alternative uh, for these people living in these countries. To be the only honest cop in the Mexican police force is a statement by the researchers uh, uh, as one of many examples. And from the individual's point of view, it's too costly to break the pattern as long as they believe that all others will continue with corruption. That's a variation of uh, the famous uh, prisoner's uh, uh, dilemma, in a sense. Uh, so finally, I will conclude uh, with uh, uh, in relation to the rule of law that, paradoxically, it's in the most cor- cor- corrupt countries with the strongest anti-corruption legislation. So many times, even the researchers claim, and there are a lot of evidence of that uh, 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 in the sociology of law perspective, that uh, anti-corruption legislation may even be con- uh, kill any hope in regulation if you use it to rule and to, to write it. So, so, uh, would be my contribution, and I haven't prepared an article, if, if that's the intention. I have to have some time, but I have been stimulated by the invitation to the Eastern